Most people bring home groceries in the back seat of their vehicles, but crazy me, I just love plants. And this passion fruit vine was something I had to try this year. They really don't grow up in northern United States. It's more of a tropical fruit, but I wanted to try it anyways. It looks very lush and green, and it's kind of like uh, you, with tomatoes or peppers, you know, and that you have to really start them earlier in the year. So I, I used this little jar of hydroponic solution and the net cup that you see here to start my vine on the windowsill in my office. It was uh, started back around December of last year and has been growing on the window ledge quite well for me. The vine is a very prolific vine. It has uh, come out into the office area and spread quite a bit. I did prune it a few times, and you can see that it still has multiple runners that are uh, coming out of that jar. The plant itself uh, became very lush with nothing more than the sunlight in the window. And now that it's warmer outdoors, I would like to be able to transplant it because it will become, uh, well, you know, if you've seen plants like these, substantially larger than what you see here. So I wanted to get a larger container that would allow me to grow it out to its full size and hopefully not only get the exotic flowers, but also the uh, passion fruits themselves. By using a net cup that was a little bit larger, as you see here, the uh, roots grew through the net pot down into that little jar of solution. And I'm going to put that into a 44-gallon brute trash can full of nutrients, which should give those roots quite a bit more room to grow. You'll notice that the 3.75-inch net pot just drops exactly down into the lid that I uh, drilled a hole in to accommodate it. 44 gallons is a lot of nutrient solution and I wanted to use something that was proven that uh, is a simple nutrient that is complete with all the macro and micro uh, nutrients in it, cow mag, pH balance, to make it as simple as possible. So what I selected was um, Dynagro, and you'll notice when I pop the lid off this 44 gallon container that the uh, water that I p filled it with um, does not come all the way up to the top. I did want to leave a little bit of room because of the roots that were growing in that jar. The upper portion of those are called aeration roots, and only the lower few inches were actually water gathering roots. And so I only wanted the water gathering roots to touch that water and the aeration roots to be exposed to air. By using the Dynagro's Bloom formulation in the 3126 formula, I'm hoping to promote more flowers and more fruiting. I actually use only one teaspoon per gallon, and it's very simple because this measuring cup that I picked up from the local Walmart store measures out in teaspoons and measure, measures out uh, substantially enough that I really don't have to keep, for example, taking a teaspoon and adding in one teaspoon at a time. Since this container holds 30 teaspoons, that would be one complete uh, container full of nutrient plus the uh, extra teaspoons that would accommodate the additional gallons that I have in the container. And you'll notice here in follow-up that the plant is adjusting very well. It has begun to uh, vine out and to climb up this trellis that I've made. It's nothing more than two eight-foot plant stakes and some fold-flat tomato cages that I zip-tied between the two plant stakes. As the plant grows, it will continue to go up to the top of the trellis.